Okay, so we're back. Uh, let's talk about President Trump. I'm running for president, okay? Because I, in my mind, I can do better than he, okay? So, President Trump, he's an okay leader. As a leader, his leadership skill, kind of mediocre, kind of average, okay? He's not too bad, okay? But when we compare, when I compare, when we compare President Trump and Vice President Joe Biden, ex, um, <clears throat> I think President Trump is still better. Why? Vice President Joe Biden, what was he thinking, okay, when he said, okay, if I become the president, mandatory mask nation, nationwide. So he's kind of weak, very weak leader. He's not quite leading, he's just following mainstream majoritarian, okay. But President Trump, at least, he got some guts to resist that mainstream majoritarian view, like BLM, for example, right? So he, he's like, he, he, I, oh, I'm President Trump. I'm, I will stand by the Confederate general statues. And that was his attitude, right? But he couldn't prevent Confederate general statues from coming down. But at least uh, he's verbally his, express his views, which is very unpopular now, all right? So I appreciate that. I mean, he could not prevent all these riots, looting, all this vandalism. He could not prevent it. Why? Because he's not an exceptional leader. He's not FDR. He's not George Washington. He's not James Madison. He's not Thomas Jefferson. He's not Andrew Jackson. He's not Teddy Roosevelt. He's not FDR. He's not an exceptional leader. He's not Abraham Lincoln. He's not Jeff Kennedy, okay? Well, JFK, I don't think he was an exceptional leader, to be honest with you, okay? But President Trump, yeah, he's not an exceptional leader. He's not. F he's no FDR, all right? He's not General Patton. He's not General McArthur. He's just average, mediocre kind of president, leader, okay? But I think his uh, ex-Vice President Joe Biden, I think he's worse. Right. He's smart man. He had Delaware lawyer. Oh, that's very. That's the number one difficult by state bar exam in America. Okay, Delaware business law, corporate law. Okay, very very difficult to pass. He did. Right. He's smart man. I, I know. When I saw back in two thousand fifteen, I know, two thousand seven. Where was I? Los Angeles, California. I watched the debate, a vice presidential debate between uh, ex-governor Sarah Palin of Alaska and vice president hopeful Senator Joe Biden. He, he he's a very smart man. I, I, yeah, yeah. But as a leader, mm, he's a more of a lead follower. Okay. Mandatory mask wearing nationwide that alone yeah he's a follower he's a little lady not very strong okay yeah. but he's smart I, I know okay in a way even if ex-vice president joe biden get elected i'm okay with that why because president trump he's doing very much disservice to america because he's too chauvinistic he's anti-international trade so that issue alone, uh, yeah, he's not doing very well. President Trump, in terms of international trade, his arm wrestling, wrestling with China and banning the contract labor, farming job laborers from Latin America. He's blocking that very bad, bad for ev American agriculture. This trade war with China, again, very bad for American agriculture. Okay. He is ruining American agriculture industry, right? Blocking the contract labor from Latin America that hurts American farming industry, agriculture. Trade war with China, hurting American 
agriculture, farmers. Okay. President Trump, he is doing huge disservice to hardworking American farmers and anywhere else. Okay. He's not doing well. I support his southern border wall. Yeah, it needs to be built, right? So President Trump, ex-Vice President Joe Biden, good and bad on both sides, okay? So, so I'm not going to vote for either of them, okay? I can do better than both of them combined because I'm smarter than both of them combined, okay? I'm running for president. Because in my mind, I, I'm just better than those people, all right? I almost said old white people, but no, no, no. Many of my friends are old white male, okay? I, but I almost joked, yeah, I'm better than both of those old white males com combined. But I didn't make that joke. Although I just said it, mentioned it, because many of my friends are old white males. Okay. Okay. The joke would go like, yeah, I'm better than both of them combined. Those President Trump, ex Vice President Joe Biden, old white males. Yeah, I'm better. I am better than, I think I'm better than both of them combined. But I did not make that joke. I just mentioned it. Why? Many of my friends are old white males. Well, so old African American males, females. All genders, all ages, all races. Okay, I have friends all, all over. Okay. So, yeah. Did I joke something like white people cannot dance? It was a joke. Okay, well, of course they can dance. They can dance better than me, many of them. Most of them, okay. Of course, white people can dance. It's just a joke, all right? Just a joke, okay? Yeah. Where's my pineapple weed? We'll take five minutes break, okay? And then... I move out cut bottles, so no problem, all right? I have a couple. Yeah, we'll take five minutes.
Okay. What else do we talk about? Uh, yeah, it's like kind of like brain dump session. I'm sorry if I've been boring, okay? But, you know, sometimes I sing your song or two, right? Try to entertain you, you know. Uh, where's my... Uh, oh, right here. Pineapple weed. It's uh, it's not weed. It's not marijuana, no. It's Alaskan edible plant, native plant, okay? Uh, also goes by the name of uh, wild chamomile. Right? It tastes just like pineapple, okay? It's superb, okay? It's good. It's excellent, okay? I didn't pick too many because my yard doesn't have too many of this pineapple weed. It got some, right? So I failed to harvest sufficient amount, I thought, but it turned out it is sufficient because they have very strong pineapple taste in their flowers. So, it's a success. Uh, yeah. Alaskan wild chamomile. Pineapple weed. Tastes just like pineapple. Okay. So yeah, I drink, okay? So what? I smoke cigarettes, so what? Maybe I die of lung cancer, throat cancer, tongue cancer out of cigarette smoking. Maybe I die of fatty liver, liver failure because I drink and I smoke cigarettes. So what? I need this, all right? I need to drink alcohol, liquor, like whiskey and vodka. Why? I need to relax. Because my days are intense. Yeah, I'm trying to rhyme, okay? Well, nowadays, I, I, can't, I can kind of naturally rhyme, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Why do I need cigarettes? Because I'm a man, right? And uh, also I'm a lawyer, but it, does, it has nothing to do with just lawyer job, any job. Okay, when I was working in the supermarket, when I was like 19 years old, 20 years old, in Madison, Wisconsin, yeah, I did smoke cigarettes. Why? Hey stressful no matter what job that you ha ha may have a lot of stress right so i take out my cigarette break small piece of heaven right yeah just chatting with my friends sorry yeah uh so and cigarette break it really helps. Give me one second. Let me talk to my friends. Okay, some report is due. In this political campaign, okay, okay. Yeah. I probably work on it tomorrow, all right. I don't wait for deadline, okay? I get the job done way before deadline. Like when, when my I do my tax, I start doing it. My tax return, federal income tax return, I do it in like early January when I can submit and file it. I don't wait deadline, no. I wait for the earliest day I can file, right? Yeah. Okay. 
What else? Uh, so yeah, co let's talk. Keep talking about co uh, President Trump. Okay, it's not his fault, you know, coronavirus. Okay, but he's kind of lame leader. Okay, he blamed China. He called it China virus. Okay, what kind of leader is that? Okay, if it was FDR or President Abraham Lincoln or President George Washington, okay. They would not have blamed China for coronavirus, okay? What would they have done? Uh, they would have exercised their exceptional leadership. But President Trump does not have the ex exceptional leadership. So it's not his fault, the coronavirus, BLM movement, riot, looting, it's not his fault. But when it happened, he could not stop it. Because he's a mediocre average leader. He's not an exceptional leader. It takes exceptional leader to solve exceptional problems. He's not that. So that's why he failed twice. Okay. That's why people in the poll they say they will vote for ex vice president, vice president Joe Biden. But I don't think he could have he would have dealt it with it better. Can I do better? Absolutely. What would I have done? Uh, not too much from pre from President Trump. Okay, no mask, no quarantine. I mean, if you want to stay home, you go ahead and stay home. But we are not going to recommend it. We are not going to mandate it. It's up to the people. Not you, but you as a pronoun in general general sense. If you wanna wear a mask, if you wanna stay home, self quarantine, yeah, do it. Okay, it's America is free country. Okay. But if you do not want to wear a mask, if you want to go out there and work, then do it. So America is freedom, right? As a president of the United States, what I would have recommended, diet, exercise, personal hygiene, yes, social distancing, okay? Because that's, that's what I've been doing all this time. I don't want to get too close to people. It's too uncomfortable. I want my space, right? And do I wash my hands many times? I always do. How many times a day do I wash my hands? Maybe 20 times. Maybe 30 times, okay? Because I don't like my finger getting sticky. I hate it. I'm kind of sensitive, right? Sensitive about these tactile feelings and Temperature. I'm very sensitive kind of guy. Oh, you're sensitive, huh? Yes, I am. Okay. Yeah. I guess that's why I had this constipation problem when I was in uh, deployed to Afghanistan in the U.S. Army because we lived in a tent, like twenty guys in a tent. Big, it's big tent, okay, we got bunker, upstairs, downstairs, okay, we got one bunker, one person, most of times, okay. Yeah, upstairs bunker, we put our stuff, like rucksack and whatever. Sorry, I'm chilling with my friends, okay, so, yeah. It was too intense, right? Yeah, and also Afghanistan, desert, is wonderful, beautiful region, amazing cuisine, fantastic people, Afghanistan, right? Uh, but it was too dry for me, okay? It was too hot. So I got constipation, hemorrhoid, oh my goodness. That was some hell of a time. For about three months before we came back to Fort Hood, Texas, clean Texas, okay? So... But I reco fully recovered, okay, so no problem. Yeah, it's fruit flies. I think I got that fruit fly this time, okay. Yeah, chatting with my friends, okay.
because when I need them, they talk to me even if they didn't want to. Okay, now I don't quite feel like talking to my friends, but hey, they did talk to me when they didn't want me want to talk to me. Okay, so yeah, give and take, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we scratch each other's backs, right? Yeah, that's what friendship is for, right? So. Okay, President Trump is not an exceptional leader. Ex-Vice President Joe Biden, I think he's worse, okay. But people are looking for some alternative, right? Maybe they are right, okay. People, whoever they vote for, people in humanity, they are like God, okay. So they cannot be wrong, okay. God, people, they are like absolute. They cannot be wrong, right? So if people don't vote for me when I'm running for Alaska State Senate, oh, they are the boss. Like God, absolute. They cannot be wrong. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I go back to mathematics, humanology. No problem. But two years later, in year 20, 22, I run for Alaska. Not Alaska State Senate, but I run for United States Senate. Whether I get elected or not this year. right? Yeah, that's my plan. If I do get elected, I still run for Alaska, I mean, United States Senate representing Alaska. Why? Because my plan is this. Ideally, I get elected in Alaska State Senate this year. I do two years. It's four year tenure, okay, but I only do two years, okay. And then, yeah, I, I'll be still working as an Alaska State Senate, Senator, right? No problem. But in my part time, I also run in two years, after two years, year 2022, I also start this campaign to become a United States Senator. Why? Everything that I promised to accomplish, to eliminate spruce tree beetles, crimes, homelessness from Alaska, I can get it done in two years, or three. Why? Because we combine the projects, three trifurcated projects, we combine into one project. I can get it done less than in less than two years. Most likely, I can get it done less than one year. Why? Because I work smarter, not harder. I work smarter and faster, not harder. Right? Yeah, I can get it done in one year. Okay, no problem. Okay. That's my campaign promise in my campaign card. I showed you, right? Yeah, eliminate crimes, eliminate crimes, spruce beetles, homelessness. We combine that into one project, okay? I told you already, right? I can get it done in less than one year. I don't need two years, okay? I don't need four years as Alaska State Senator tenure, no. I can fulfill my promise, campaign promise, in less than two years. Most likely less than one year, all right? Because I work very fast. I work smart, not hard, right? The all those time, I'm not gonna be overworking. No, I'll be drinking vodka after work. I'll be smoking cigarettes in my smoking cigarette breaks, okay? Why? I do my job 40 hours a week, no more than that. Monday through Friday, okay? No more than that. I talk to people, okay? Private business, state government, federal government. I will invite them to work on this project, to join me. I will be just a coordinator or leader, okay? And they will do what they are good at. Grant proposal, grant application, grant writing. They are going to do it. I'm not doing it. Because that's what they do. That's what they're good at. That's their profession, right? Yeah. Like delegation of tasks. Right? Yeah. I'll just invite them, okay? I mean, if I do have my personal charm, I'll use it. Right? 
If I have charisma, I'll use it. Okay. If not, I'll beg. I go down to the ground floor and kneel down on my knees and hey please would you would you please do this not for me for for us the rest of us please 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 i beg okay if i have money i buy them lunch if they have destiny and a driver i them i buy them drinks okay no problem it's not bribery it's socialization they do that all the time okay I invite them, I buy bouquet, bouquets of flowers, candies, chocolates, okay, to invite them to this project, okay, and, they, and then they will be motivated to spend some time and money in this Spruce Beetle project, and we bring media, some excitement, newspapers, television stations, and documentary filmmakers to get some juicy and excitement joy publicity okay it has potential to become international news at least national news at least Alaska state level news spruce beetle project okay that's what I would do if I become Alaska State Center, all right? Yeah, we will become famous, okay? We will get paid, no problem. That's the line from 24 TV series, okay? Mr. Jack Bauer, he was in Mexico, okay? Yeah, double agent, right? Yeah, disguised as this drug dealer, right? Dealer and handler, right? Dylan H, whatever. We'll get paid! Because the two Hispanic guys in that TV show drama, he was about to shoot him, okay, because he failed once, right? He was in Mexico, okay, this foreign territory, okay, so these two brothers, what, what were their names? Channel 4 TV series. Mr. Zach Bauer, Kiefer Sutherland, okay. His, whose father was uh, Donald Sutherland, okay. Very good actor, family, okay. Maybe his grandfather was also in, in entertainment business. I don't, I don't remember, okay. But yeah, they're, they're good actors, okay. Father and son. Right. Sutherland. Yeah, they're white guys, okay. But African Americans, they're great actors too. Like Chris Tucker in this, teamed with uh, this Asian guy, Mr. Jackie Chan, right? Yeah, Rush Hour series. Huge fan. Okay. Nobody can make jokes like African Americans, okay? Mr. Chris Tucker, once stand up comedian, right? Huge fan, right? He's good. We take five minutes break. We need some vocal rest, please. All right, so yeah, we take five minutes. Okay, I guess my my friends went to bed, fell asleep. Okay, so good.
Okay. I have many family friends, okay, all different races, all right? Because kindly and generously, they invite me to their dinner table many times in America, all different races, okay? Jews, Arabs, Caucasians, African Americans, okay? Asians, okay? They invite me to their dinner table. They introduce me to their family members, their spouses, children, their parents, okay? Yeah, I, I'm like very grateful, okay? That's America, okay? Yeah, we get along most of times, okay? And I ask them, Hey! Do you have chopsticks? And they, 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 they don't, right? Okay. Next time they invite me, I buy them as a gift. Chopsticks. I'm Asian, okay? Asian American. Yeah, I use chopsticks. Why? Because I, I don't want to pick up all this food with my fingers because it gets sticky, okay? So I don't use chopsticks, alright? So so next time they invite me over, hey, do you have chopsticks, please? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you bought us chopsticks that we never use. Yeah, we spared it, saved it for you, okay? Here is the chopsticks for you. Oh, thank you! I'm sensitive, okay? So they become my family friends, right? But my Korean families, my siblings and my parents, okay? They don't come here very often, okay? They're busy in Korea. They love Korea. They're not coming here. They love Korea, okay? South Korea, Seoul, right? So what I can do is to show the pictures of my parents and siblings and nieces, nephews, right? Oh, they love those Korean family picture, okay? Yeah. So I, that's all I can do, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. When my Korean families came visit me here in America from Korea, yeah, of course I had, took every chance to introduce my family members to my American friends, all different races, right? Oh, I mean, my Korean family is they have heavy, their Korean accent is heavier than mine because they live in Korea, but they do speak English, okay? Because they lived here to study, okay, for a couple of years, right? Or well, more than a couple of years, whatever, right? Yeah, they speak English, but they have heavy Korean accent. So my friends, I introduce my friends, my Korean family visitors to America, okay, every chance I could get because they want to beat them, okay? Yeah, my parents, siblings, nephews, nieces, okay, yeah. Every time they come visit me, I'm very eager to introduce my Korean family who live in South South Korea to my American friends and they really, really enjoy the experience, okay? All different races in America, okay? They're very eager to meet my Korean family in Seoul, South Korea, right? So yeah, whenever they come visit, yeah, I, I'm very eager to introduce them because my American friends want to meet them, okay? Yeah. All right, what else? I mean, this is a human knowledge series, okay? We are, it's freedom of speech, John, right? So, yeah. Okay. Some difficult topic, okay? I think the window is open in my living room, okay? So let me close it.
Okay. So. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll talk about happiness, all right? Are you happy or are you unhappy? That's the question I want to ask. You? Okay. If you're happy, that's all good, okay? But if you're unhappy, my recommendation to you is this, all right? Because I know how to be happy. I'm always happy. Why? Because I always want to move up. Bigger and better. Right? Five years ago, when I first came to Alaska, where well, actually about decades ago before, I, I've been to Anchorage Airport. S just stop by, okay? I think it was in winter, okay? I look outside the window of this Anchorage Airport. It was just dark. I didn't get to outside of the airport, okay? S so, yeah, but I've been to Alaska before, about 20 years ago. Right. So airport hub, right? But the last time I came to Alaska, it was five years ago. I moved here from Michigan after I graduated from Michigan Law School, right? And it was like so for, for the very first time. I got outside of Alaskan Anchorage Airport because I moved here. I wanted to live here. Why? When I was in law school, I have television, cable TV, okay? Because I've been making good money. I got my GI Bill money, federal money. I got my handsome scholarship, Dean's scholarship in Michigan Law School, Ann Arbor, okay? So I was saving money, okay, for rainy days. And I, yeah, yellow ribbon program, thanks to fantastic school officials. Some of them African-American females, some of them Caucasian American females, okay? They helped me out. So I would bring them bouquets of flowers, like at least once a year, to thank them. African-American females, Caucasian American females, okay? Yeah, I would bring them flowers, okay? Yeah, school officials, administrators, right? they're fantastic. They're very good at what they do. Okay. Some of them I still keep in touch with. Right? When I was in law school, I have Arabic friends, Middle Eastern friends, Jewish friends, Hispanic friends, Asian friends, Caucasian friends, African American friends, of course, okay. Mixed race friends, okay, yeah, they're all my friends, okay. So, native friends, okay, yeah. Always. I'm American, okay? My friends, all different ideologies, genders, races, ages, okay? So, yeah. I'm American, okay? All right. So when I first came back to Alaska five years ago, the very first time in my life to step outside of this Anchorage airport, I looked around. It was like five years ago, around May, late May, after I graduated from Ann Arbor, Michigan Law School. What year was that? 2015. I was 37 years old, five years ago. I looked around. I was wearing Hawaiian t-shirt, okay, from Michigan, all right? So I took this airplane, okay? Yeah, from Detroit, Michigan to Seattle, Washington, then Seattle, Washington to Anchorage, Alaska, okay? And when I was in Detroit, Michigan airport, this African-American lady who's older than me, okay? She was 
an employee in Detroit, Michigan airport. Okay. And he told me that I'm handsome. I was like, oh, African American lady who is older than me. Thank you for your compliment because I don't get to hear that very often. Okay. I'm handsome. Oh, thank you. God bless you. Thank you. African American lady who is older than me. She said I'm handsome. Oh, thank you. Because I'm kind of insecure about my looks and feels, okay? So when somebody say I'm handsome, I'm like, oh, God bless you. Thank you. Because I'm kind of insecure about my looks, the way I look. Oh, thank you for saying that. Thank you. <laughs> okay? So they were Detroit, Michigan airport. Okay, we... So I took the airplane, went to Seattle, Washington, okay? I took the airplane from Seattle, Washington to Anchorage, Alaska. I was wearing a Hawaiian t-shirt, right? Purple color. I still have that Hawaiian t-shirt from Michigan, okay? Yeah, it's purple in color, okay? So, so I was, you know, just finding my seat in this air, small airplane and my luggage, putting in that luggage storage, okay? And this Caucasian male gentleman who is older than me, okay? He told me this joke, okay? Hey! You are not going to Hawaii. You are wearing this Hawaiian t-shirt, but you are not going to Hawaii. You are going to Alaska. I was like, <laughs> so everybody left, okay? So I was wearing Hawaiian t-shirt, but it was late May, okay? It's still summer, right? But I didn't quite been been to Alaska, so I don't know how it is, the weather, climate is in late May in Alaska, okay? So I was just wearing a Hawaiian t-shirt, okay? So, hey, you are not going to Hawaii. You are going to Alaska. So we all left, okay? Yeah, yeah, so, mister, yeah, thank you, yeah. I'm not, I know where I'm going, yeah. I'm not going to Hawaii, never been there. I'm, I'm going to Alaska because I want to go to Alaska. Yeah, I'm wearing a Hawaiian t-shirt. I don't know anything about how I, the Alaskan weather, Alaskan climate, temperature, humidity, late May, year 2015, five years ago. So, yeah, we had a good life, okay? So, we arrived in Alaska, Anchorage, Alaska. Yeah, we went over Canada, okay? We saw all these glaciers, formation in Canada, okay? Yeah. About five hours later, we are in Alaska, Anchorage, Alaska, okay. That was five years ago, okay. We take five minutes break, okay. I tell you the rest of the story, okay. So we take five minutes.